Hey there YouTube, France Opera here. It's Thursday, January 20th, and it's that time of the month again for another Mito in a Box. Let's take a look at Loose Leaf Relief. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's open up volume 19, which was titled Loose Leaf Relief. So I do believe this box is going to be kind of a sampling of various papers is what it was uh, kind of marketed as. Probably got a pen or two in here as well, but let's take a look. So, of course, I will put the product cards in the description, or if you're like me and always watch YouTube on a TV, I'll put a QR code in the corner of the video that you can scan instead. So it looks like we do have some good samplings of paper there in the deluxe kit. Standard kit, of course, does come with, uh, it looks like a pen there, and some inks, a binder. Oh, there appears to be a converter to go with the pen. Cool. All right, well, that's interesting. So I guess the standard kit primarily comes with writing instruments, whereas with deluxe, you get uh, some paper sampling. So... Let's crack this open and take a look at what we have. So, yeah, that uh, does appear to be a full bottle of ink there. Set that aside there. Here are our goodies for the month. We'll take a greater look at that in a moment. Looks like we got some pens and a sticker. So, let's see. Actually, I think this is the standard kit here. So you do have some paper because, yeah, you've got the Kakuno pen with converter. Always like seeing a converter included. So yes, this looks like standard kit. And this would be deluxe kit, which gives you some more paper and uh, looks like a set of pencils there. So let's move the box off to the side here. And we'll, of course, start with our free goodies for the month and take a look at uh, what we have in there. But yeah, this does look like it's a good, nice uh, sampler box. Again, you got a whole bottle of ink there, you know, your goodies. And yeah, you, 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 Deluxe looks pretty strong and uh, Standard looks pretty strong as well. So let's start with the free goodies. So let's slide the rest of the stuff out of the way here to take a look at our extras for the month because we do have some long bits in there. Yeah, it does look like we got a couple of pens. Uh, looks like I think maybe a marker set and of course that's another one of these bags that I have destroyed. All right, well, I guess we're just gonna have to do that. All right, and let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have two markers from Tombow, sticker set from Maru Man, and let's see, is this a pen from Zebra? Yes, it is. So, we have from uh, Zebra a uh, Sarasa pen, 1.0 millimeter thickness. Looks like this is a gel pen, kind of brownish-orange color there. From Maru Man, Flake Seal Sticker Set. Those look like a bunch of fun. Uh, from Tombow, a purple alcohol-based marker. Oh, I don't know that I've ever seen alcohol-based, or I've just never seen anyone explicitly say that it's alcohol-based. So that's cool. And then we have uh, another one of those in a kind of brighter orange color. So, if I move these off to the side and bring back that whole bottle of ink there that we have in the standard kit. And again, that bottle of ink is standard. That That's not something that is exclusive to the deluxe kit. And here is the rest of what we have in the standard kit. So let me crack this open and we'll take a look at uh, the pen and everything else that is in here. This definitely looks like a good starter set. 
for jotting down notes. Hey, got that one in one piece. All right. So, there is our pen, our converter to go with it, and binder, and our loose leaf sampler. So, the pen. Let's talk about that first. This is from Pilot. It is the Kakuno, looks like a fine nib pen. Um, if you're familiar with like the Preppy series of pens, this is a very similar pen. Very affordable. It's a great starter pen. This one is what you would call a demonstrator because it is clear, so you can very easily see the ink that you have. Looks like it comes with one black ink cartridge. Or, of course, if you want to do what I like doing, because you get so many inks, and since there's a whole bottle of ink, I'd recommend doing this. This is what's called a converter. Think of it as a refillable ink cartridge. You stick it in the pen, and this is what's called the twist type. So you twist this. There's a plunger here that would go all the way down. Stick it in your bottle of ink, twist, and it sucks up the ink, and you're good to go for, like, several months. Um, there are some fountain pens out there that will have really good seals on them, and so you can just fill it up with ink and forget about it for a while, even if you don't use the pen. The ink will last, and it won't entirely dry out. So, the ink is from Tasia. It's the Jeans ink. It's a black ink. Whole bottle of ink there. From Maru Man, we have the Kodo Fit B5 binder, which looks like this. Neat little purple color there. Looks like a one-touch, probably, Spiral lock there. Yeah, there's a little arrow indicating to push down there. Looks like some decent starter paper there. And then obviously when you run out and it's time to refill, you have a nice sampler of paper there in good old multiple colors. So let's move these aside. And again, I very much like that there is a converter included this time. Uh, the last time... I think there was a fountain pen in the standard kit. I don't think the converter was included. I think it was only in that box because I had gotten the deluxe edition. So it is nice to see that included this time around. So, for the deluxe, looks like we have some more paper from Maruman. Um, and several others that I don't think I've heard of in here. All right, so some more Maruman, some pencils from Stabilo, from Yamamoto Paper, a nice paper tasting thing, and like a Maruman to-do list mini thing to kind of go with that uh, binder that you get in the standard kit. So let's uh, let's take a look at this paper tasting eggshell volume. Two set here from uh, Yamamoto Paper. You do have a nice variety of papers that you have there. Looks like this is formulated such that it would be good for uh, a fountain pen, which is probably why one is included. And that does look like a, a nice sampler there. Oh, interesting. I guess it can kind of... Oh, grain direction. So that explains some of the making of paper there. Cool stuff. Um, and then again, from Maruman, we do have some more loose leaf. So to go with that binder that you get in the standard kit, here's one that has a folder, two sheets there. And then you have uh, some tabs. Well, this is like I'm in primary school again, setting up a binder for class. <laughs> I remember those days. Um, so that those are laminated, by the way, so those should last you a good long while. And then again, to also fit into that binder that you have, that spiral bound, that is a to-do list there, easy to write mini to-do list. And then finally, from Stabilo, these are 0.88 set pastel colors. Looks like these are kind of uh, colored markers. So yeah, some good stuff. That is a 0.4 millimeter one there. 
So, honestly, I'd say this kit might have been better for uh, like a back to school, which I mean, I guess if you have a winter holiday, you probably are going back to school, starting a, a new term and what have you, and maybe you do need to some new binders and accessories to go with them because yeah look look at this you got plenty of accessories yeah you have again a really good starter fountain pen and some markers to go along with it so there you have it that is volume 19 loose leave release and i will see you next month for whatever volume 20 has in store thanks for watching that is it.